Thank you, Petra, for that very generous introduction. And I thank you all for tuning in and listening to my segment today, which will focus on how Sony Pictures views the world of streaming content infotainment and the outlook of streaming content, content infotainment inside uh, the future of vehicles. Um, as we begin, and as I begin to discuss today, automakers, as well as the industry stakeholders, really face a lot of challenges effectively of how to deliver streaming content um, to consumers who are purchasing and engaging and essentially living with their vehicles. Um, existing OTT technology and services really have, lend, have limited or hindered the ability for consumers, um, as well as for manufacturers, to be able to deliver that streaming content for consumers to consume it. So today we're going to talk about some of those challenges and how we think about those solutions that not only will help to deliver and overcome some of those objectives, objectives, but will also be able to provide brand value for you as you bring out new innovative products in your automotive space. So before I dig too deep into how to address the product approach, I'd like to discuss some of the current landscape of the entertainment and streaming content business. So today, U.S. adults spend approximately three hours to four hours a day on devices streaming content. Now, of course, this has changed a lot in the past 12 months due to um, the world situation of the pandemic. However, it's still been on a trajectory to continue to grow and evolve. And we did expect to see that kind of growth um, of at least up to six hours in the most recent um, studies of people over the age of 16. In fact, according to Forbes magazine, in 2020 alone, streaming content doubled on average for users. We've seen a transformation for this from all kinds of players. So there's lots of content and future investing that's happening right now in the connected vehicles and electric vehicle space. So as we look back in recent history, uh, there's been lots of EVs and connected vehicles that have brought out types of service that allow consumers to engage in other types of infotainment inside their vehicle. In 2019 alone, there have been over 2 million electric vehicles just sold. And that's not just electric vehicles, that includes other vehicles that have connected platforms that allow consumers to engage in some of those different services that I just previously mentioned. The space in connected vehicles is expected to grow an additional 20% um, and reach ultimately over $1.2 trillion investment by the year 2030. So that's a lot of investment, a lot of attention going into that particular space, which we know is of interest to consumers as well as to the industry stakeholders. So by the end of the decade, um, we expect to see over $600 million um, on money spent in these in-car services from consumers. So those are the actual subscription dollars and the payment for services for those streaming content services. Um, some recent studies, Streaming Observer calculates that consumers um, are spending, as I mentioned, over three hours a day um, currently consuming that content through the streaming platform. So as we look at that and think about how that grows over time, that's a whole lot of time that consumers are actually engaging in that space, um, not only outside their vehicle, but inside their vehicle. So we know that there's opportunity there. And one of the things that we commonly get asked about is, well, what about Netflix? So Netflix is one of the more um, common known platforms that has streaming content. So if we look at Netflix specifically, for consumers, we recognize that consumers are spending lots of hours and lots of time consuming that. In fact, on average, we're looking at probably 288 gigabytes per month alone on Netflix that we see across the industry. But one of the challenges that we also see with Netflix I wanna point out is the fact that Netflix is also challenged with being able to provide more current content. So as you'll probably have seen in recent times, Netflix has actually um, seen their content and new content acquisitions slow down because they're creating their own content. So it, it's more of a struggle now to get that premium content. So as we continue to evolve and as we engage with industry leaders and um, industry experts, 
um, there are a few constants that happen in these discussions. So first of all, everyone recognizes uh, the importance for content and streaming services. The other thing is that everyone also recognizes that there's a host of factors and hurdles that make it really difficult to move forward with bringing those streaming services into the vehicle. So the first thing is how is it built? Uh, thinking about the, engin the engineering, the architecture, the technology, all the things that have to happen in order to be able to deliver the actual service. Then there comes the components of how to actually manage it. How do you manage the acquisition of that content, the publishing rights of that content? And then lastly, there's managing um, the cost for investing and bringing all those different services with having a smart return on investment for all the dollars that it costs to bring those items to market. So it's not easy. It's very difficult for everybody to move in that particular space. So we also know that the entertainment industry um, is always gonna be a natural spot for consumers as well as for the industry to focus some efforts into how to, how to look at this particular space. Sony Pictures Entertainment, which is part of a very large technological organization, the Sony family, um, is in the right spot to address those type of concerns because of our close position with the entertainment industry, as well as our close alliance with bringing um, leading technologies into the marketplace. As the industry is trying to figure out how to bring all these different services, there are a lot of things happening in the marketplace and a lot of things that um, are hard to get expertise on if you do not have that existing expertise, such as managing all the content rights, managing how to acquire that existing content, as well as creating the content, which is a place that Sony Pictures um, already plays directly intimately in. As we focus our efforts on the industry, on uh, stakeholders, um, we see the struggle of managing and prioritizing the consumer needs with what consumers also perceive as value. So in addition to growing those, those growing consumer expectations around safety, functionality, and features inside the vehicle, all of which are very costly, uh, we know that partners are also, and the industry is also very constrained on really developing, as I mentioned, that expertise to bring those type of, those streaming infotainment services into the vehicle. So we've come up with some solutions as well as some benefits that can help address some of these key pain points. So because our services developed with the industry, we recognize the importance of being able to be flexible with different platforms. So as I talk to many manufacturers, um, one of the biggest challenges that, that they have is that as they are bringing out new products and new platforms, they may have legacy platforms of some of their other older vehicles. So being able to manage that technical architecture where you can still provide the same experience to all the consumers, but in a way that you can bring those services to the, and account for the variances that you have within the platforms. We're consistently told um, that it's also very important to provide revenue opportunities, revenue generating opportunities. So our learnings have allowed us to create a service that not only could adapt to all those different changing technological environments, but also provide really a flexible model for viable commercial um, engagements with consumers that really can help manufacturers to generate that revenue opportunity that is so needed. And while talking to industry professionals, we've learned that manufacturers really want to differentiate their product from the others that are in the marketplace. So it's really important um, for OEMs not to just become an access point. So such as just having access for Netflix, but really being able to have immersive and experiences that are unique to those particular platforms and their products that they have. The cost for those integrations are high, and we feel like we've come up with a solution that will also help to mitigate those very escalating costs in terms of being able to provide that service. And lastly, I wanna just talk about that OEMs really want to have partners in this technology space that are viable. So Sony has been around for more than 70 years. And because of that longevity, uh, we're gonna be here around for many more years than that to come. So we're able to support not only the existing um, instances of streaming technologies that are coming out immediately, but also those future um, generations of future formats, such as 4K, such as 8K, um, artificial reality, virtual reality, being able to bring all those different types of innovative services into the vehicle. So RideView, the service that we've created, is really um, our ultimate digital video solution for in car entertainment. So this is fully customizable for any OEM in order to be able to have not only your own white label products, but also be able to 
customize it to the experiences that you really want your consumers to engage in based on their usage and experience. So one of the key features of our RideView service is being able to provide um, access to consumers through the vehicle relationship to up to six screens at one time. So in addition to having potentially built-in rear seat entertainment screens in the back seat, consumers would also have the ability to engage with personal devices in the exact same service where everyone in the vehicle can be engaging and watching that service at the exact same time. So this is something we feel is very unique and is also going to be very valued by consumers to be able to have that immersive and really good family experience um, or experience of enjoying um, those different types of premium content while in your vehicle. The platform also allows for very easy integration for um, granting instant access to all types of premium content. So one of the things that's great about a partnership with Sony Pictures Entertainment and our studio is the fact that we're bringing you blockbuster con content on a regular basis. But in addition to that, being able to have access to existing and legacy and classical blockbuster content is also be available um, with many different formats and all those different platforms that are also going to be prevalent in the different platforms that we're supporting. There's also a dedicated resource team to be able to support the ongoing support and optimizing the future formats, as I mentioned, as we go forward with really being able to deliver these first-in-class services. And as I really just mentioned and want to emphasize that this is a first-to-market digital video solution for the automotive infotainment space. So there's no current solution right now that's specifically designed um, to provide the automotive industry as well as vehicles this class leading service um, with the streaming content that can really allow the manufacturers to differentiate the product. So we know this is a first, in, a first to market um, offer that really is a great opportunity for the industry as well as um, industry stakeholders to be able to capitalize on the momentum that's happening and the opportunities based on the technology that has been enabled to create these services. The, other great benefit of the Right of You platform and working with Sony Pictures is it allows the industry and the OEM to be able to really fully own that consumer data experience. One of the things that we hear on a regular basis as I talk to manufacturers is the fact that being able to understand those consumer insights, what they're engaging in, the types of content they're looking at, um, at and where they're looking at that content really helps them to really not only improve the platform and the services that they're offering their consumers, but really also better understand their consumers and better define the consumers to develop future experiences and what's important to those consumers. And lastly, it allows um, those manufacturers to really leverage some of the great brands of Sony Pictures Entertainment, as well as our iconic characters such as Spider-Man, Venom, and Hotel, Hotel Transylvania. I'm sure everyone has their favorite um, brand or character, but all of those can be leveraged with a relationship um, through a studio like Sony Pictures. So, as we talk about closing, one of the things I just want to kind of summarize is that we've known digital for a long time. We've been in the digital space for a very long time, over 160 years combined across our different brands and companies. We know what's working, we know what isn't working, and we're able to prov provide and bring that expertise to manufacturers as you move into this space of really trying to figure out how do we capitalize and work on bringing these streaming content service into the market. So in closing, we really define four pillars for long-term success that I think are important for everyone. Um, and these elements look different for each OEM, but they're important in order to be able to really maximize the success. Thank you very much for your time today.